is looking for a potential clash between Chris Eubank Jr. and Canelo Alvarez. This battle for supremacy in the super middleweight division seems to be a highly anticipated match because it's going to be a battle of the fighters who hold all the major belts including WBA, WBC, IBF, and the ring, and the one who's the undisputed champion himself. Reports, however, suggest that Eubank Jr. is shockingly in the lead to face the undefeated 168-pound champion Alvarez. There's a new front runner to fight Canelo Alvarez, and it's looking like it could be Chris Eubank Jr. They're in negotiations. Saul Canelo Alvarez is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound boxers in the fighting world and has built his reputation as a true boxing superstar. He has a professional record of 59 wins, and he has defeated some of the biggest names, including Jenny Golovkin, Daniel Jacobs, and Callum Smith. Plus, he has a record of only two losses and one draw in his entire boxing career. On the other hand, Chris Eubank Jr. is a British boxer who's known for his aggressive fighting style and is considered to be a top contender in the middleweight and super middleweight divisions. He has a record of 32 wins and two losses. Eubank Jr. has consistently aimed to take on the top competitor in the pound-for-pound -pound division, but has consistently lost to opponents. He might find himself with an unexpected chance that could catapult his career to new heights, potentially emerging as a stunning and undisputed champion. Undoubtedly, the Mexican would be the favorite to retain his titles, Yet the Briton, known for his resilience, could deliver a stellar performance if he brings his A game. Get it on, man. You know, let's let's do this. You need to be tested. And you're not going to fight your Mexicans. I'm English and Jamaican, so you can fight me. You know, it's, it's chalk. It's, 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 very, it's very plain. Ever since Canelo Alvarez signed the contract to join the Choi brothers and fight at the center of the ring, Chris Eubank Jr. has demanded a fight with the Mexican boxing god. Eubank Jr. has also shown a keen desire to face fearsome competitors in the sport. Listen, anyone with a belt in the middleweight division is of interest. Um, you know, from December on, big names and world title fights is, is what we're looking at. And... Um, so yeah, that's definitely a possibility. Eubank has a hunger to prove himself against the unbeatable boxers of the fighting world. As an underdog himself, he wanted to raise his status in the sports world. And that's why he showed his interest in having a fight against Alvarez, who won his last fight against Jamie Mungunia and secured his title as a super middleweight champion. Now he is shockingly passionate about facing the undefeated 168 pounds champion Alvarez in the ring. That's a great fight. That fight it has to happen. Who else is he gonna fight now? He's, he wants to fight in Britain. Um, who Eubank came into the limelight after winning a fight against Liam Smith. He didn't seem to be involved in any kind of fight after this last rematch in September, but this win had opened the opportunity for himself. He signed a contract with a new promoter, which made him confident to call out the name of a big fighter. He said, I'm in a blessed position right now where there are four or five different names out there that are mega fights that everybody wants to see. He even added the names of the big fighters, Canelo Alvarez, Terence Crawford, Connor Ben, Billy Joe Saunders, and that's just off the top of my head. There are many more fights out there that can be made, even domestically, so I'm in an exciting position. Discussions about Alvarez's upcoming fight have been notably subdued since the 33-year-old champion successfully defended his titles against Jaime Munguia over the Cinco de Mayo weekend. With any training camp scheduled to start before the end of the month, it now looks as though his status may be made clear in the upcoming weeks. Next Gen has never held the title of world champion in his professional career and has made it clear what his main goal is to accomplish before retiring. He has been waiting months for a fight with Conor Ben, his domestic rival, but it seems that will have to wait for the time being. Chris Eubank Sr., a boxing icon, has endorsed a bout against Canelo as the defining moment to secure his son's legacy in the ring. He told TalkSport, Let's get to the point. Canelo is the only person he's going to be able to fight now to redeem any type of respect from the fighting public. Real fighters. Real boxing people. I know how you win respect. It's not beating Liam Smith. Although it looks like Alvarez will not be facing his longtime nemesis, David Benavidez, anytime soon, fans are eager to see him do so. In 2025, a highly anticipated clash with Crawford might materialize, contingent on his victory over Eubank Jr. Saudi boxing chief Turkey al has expressed keen interest in hosting this momentous event. However, Eubank Sr. added, Junior, this is what my view is. Your saving grace is going to be Canelo. You're never going to get back down to 160 pounds. I won't allow that to happen anyway. You're a 168 pounds fighter. Canelo is your way to win respect, and you cannot beat him, not Canelo. The only way you can beat him is if daddy is next to you. That's it. Canelo is contemplating facing Edgar Berlanga, his WBA mandatory challenger, as another potential opponent for his next bout. The fight would ideally take place in the U.S. around a 
significant holiday, possibly September 14th. However, choosing Berlanga may not be the best option for Canelo due to various other factors. Fans are skeptical about 27-year-old Berlanga's readiness for a world title shot, insisting he must defeat a top-tier opponent first to prove himself. Thus far, he hasn't faced such competition. Pauli Malignaggi said, With the combination of the UFC going on Mexican Independence Day weekend, it may push Canelo out of Las Vegas. In that situation, it may push the Berlanga fight away. Although Berlanga doesn't rate the fight, his supporters in New York won't be pleased that he won't be fighting, and Canelo shouldn't have to handle the fallout from picking him. While Canelo focuses on his bout with Eubank Jr., Berlanga's promoter Eddie Hearn could elevate his credibility by pitting him against formidable opponents such as Caleb Plant, Chaimi Mungia, David Benavidez, Christian Mbili, or David Morel Jr. Malignaggi added, If you fight in the United States, Berlanga is the more viable opponent. He's more popular. Eubank doesn't have a lot of popularity in the U.S. If you go to Europe, you fight Eubank in England. I could see that possibility opening up, and I could see where he's going with this. In September, Canelo has limited choices for his next fight, unless he considers fighters from the 160 LB weight class like Eubank Jr., who would be stepping up. Exploring other contenders from that division could satisfy fans without a doubt. According to Malignaggi, England would love to have a Canelo Alvarez. To me, those boxing fans are the best in the world. Even if he were fighting their local guy, obviously, they would root for Eubank. But they would still be privileged and in awe to have one of boxing's stars choose their place to fight. London presents an ideal venue for Canelo's next bout, promising a flurry of excitement and anticipation. Despite Eubank Jr. nearing the twilight of his career, fans remain eager to witness the spectacle of him facing Canelo. As per Malignaggi, Dana White sits for nobody. Canelo sits for him. If you look at the UFC schedule, they're doing that again in September. You could see Canelo taking his act on the road to England, where he would obviously be welcomed with open arms. The English love their boxing and their superstar fighters. Canelo must adjust to White's scheduling events on American soil during Mexican holidays to capitalize on the viewership of passionate fans. While fighting a crowd favorite like David Benavidez, he could retain his September slot, but facing Berlanga, who mainly resonates in certain parts of New York City, wouldn't be as feasible. Moreover, Chris Eubank Jr. is ecstatic following his recent partnership with Boxer, foreseeing major showdowns with boxing giants like Canelo Alvarez, Terence Crawford, and Conor Ben in his near future. Eubank Jr. stands as one of two contenders under Canelo's consideration for his upcoming defense of the undisputed super middleweight title in September. Should this matchup materialize, it promises to be a colossal event, drawing significant attention both stateside and across the pond, likely commanding PPV audiences in the U.S. and U.K. alike. At 34 years old, Eubank Jr. stands at a crucial juncture in his career, recognizing the fleeting nature of time in professional boxing. Having witnessed a decline in his skills and energy, since his peak years between 2015 and 2019, he faces a pressing need to secure significant bouts while his competitive edge remains. Chris Eubank Jr. will need to shift his focus away from Terence Crawford, as the undefeated Nebraskan has set his sights on boxing's ultimate prize, a showdown with Canelo Alvarez. And simple. Um, he wants box office, he wants money. He can't fight GGG again. No one wants to see that. Um, let's go, baby. I'm here. I'm ready. Because Chris was in talks to face Alvarez in September, but his signing up with Ben Shalom leaves everyone in doubt whether this fight will happen or not, as he is tied with Sky Sports. Before that, he worked with Wasserman's boxing branch, and he split from them earlier this year. Now he's among the promoters working with Turkey Alalshek. He said, I'm very excited to have signed with Boxer and Ben Shalom. Also, Eubank, who has worked with sports agents like Mazhar Majid, showed his excitement on this new knot. He said, they fit the direction I want to go in. We have big plans over the next 12 to 24 months. There are big fights in the pipeline, and these guys can make it happen. This is a partnership. I have the freedom and the leeway to work how I want to work, which is very rare. He continued his statement by emphasizing the control he got with this new partnership. He said, I'm in a position of power. I'm in a position to really control the direction that I want to go in, so I'm excited. I've been in the game for 12 years now, and I'm still hungry. I'm still excited. I'm still in love with the sport of boxing. So, all this created chaos in the boxing world, and left everyone curious whether this fight would happen or not. Despite different remarks on this fight, it's going to happen in September. Shalom revealed that proposals have been made to stage this high-profile fight in the United Kingdom. This is what Eubank's promoter revealed while talking to the boxing sports. We have talked about staging the fight in the UK. He highlighted the scheduling conflict. For him, the clash with another major fight, AJ versus Daniel Dubois, is a tactical problem since two prominent events with similar formats can weaken the audience and power. The difficulty we've had with that one is that with the AJ, versus Daniel Dubois card on September 21st, it's hard to envision another stadium card a week either side of that. Shalom disclosed extra information about the frequency of requests to fight in the UK, 
that is sought by Canelo to strengthen his accomplishments. Eubank, nonetheless, is regarded as the only suitable contender since he is capable of providing a high number of interested spectators to meet the grand event that is in demand by Canelo. That's been the main barrier. I think Canelo knows that if he's to box in the UK, which he is attracted to for the sake of his legacy, then Eubank is the only opponent who could generate the sort of numbers that he'd want and the spectacle he'd want. Although there are debates regarding the location in the United Kingdom, the essential options are still based on the fight held in Las Vegas in September, which corresponds to the existing negotiations and thinking. That is ongoing and being talked about, but the initial offer has all been around Las Vegas in September. Not even the ProBox TV analyst Chris Algieri kept himself from showing his interest in these words. If you fight in the United States, Berlanga is the more valuable opponent. He's more popular. Algieri also participated in this debate, and he elaborated on the fact that in the U.S., Berlanga has much more exposure, thus enjoying a far better selling proposition. Eubank doesn't have a lot of popularity in the U.S. If you go to Europe, you fight Eubank in England. I could see that possibility opening up, and I could see where he's going with this. He agreed that Eubank was not as popular in the U.S., to which the English fighter replied that such a fight would be more appropriate in England. England would love to have a Canelo Alvarez. To me, those boxing fans are the best in the world. Even if he were fighting their local guy, obviously, they would root for Eubank, but they would still be privileged and in awe to have one of boxing's stars choose their place to fight. About the passion of English boxing fans, Algieri said that in case Canelo had a fight in England, fans would be happy to see a star like Canelo despite their love for Eubank. He said, Dana White sits for nobody. Canelo sits for him. If you look at the UFC schedule, they're doing that again in September. You could see Canelo taking his act on the road to England, where he would obviously be welcomed with open arms. The English, their boxing, and their superstar fighters. Meanwhile, his promoter Ben Shalom called it a huge opportunity for Eubank. While speaking to the boxing scene, this is what Ben Shalom said about Alvarez versus Eubank. I think he knows it's now or never to fight a lot of the names that have been talked about throughout his career. He also highlighted the urgency Eubank feels at this stage in his career and acknowledged his ambition and critical timing for securing titles through major fights. He also wants world titles. It's good to get someone at that stage of their career with their name built, ready for the big fights. He's a realist and he knows that the next 18 months to two years are where all his big fights need to happen. Even though he had certain expectations from this fight, he had been offered by many fighters, but he prefers this fight over any other. But at the same time, he pointed out the financial constraints regarding Eubank versus Alvarez. As usual, it comes down to money. He also explained the financial expectations as a key or determining factor for the happening of this fight. Negotiations are ongoing, but it all comes down to whether it makes financial sense for him. He continued his statement by giving an honest assessment of this potential fight. I'd say 50 50ths. Like I say, he has a lot of options, and if I'm honest, it's not down to the Canelo side. It's more Chris, and rightfully so. He concluded his views in these words. There's a certain amount he's used to earning, and he wants to get what he deserves from a fight against someone like Canelo. Rodriguez, who himself has an undefeated professional record of 20-0 with 13 knockouts, wrote on his social media in Spanish, which is translated as, Chris Eubank Jr. joined the list of possible rivals for Canelo Alvarez and is now the favorite to close an agreement. He also appreciated Eubank's fighting skills and said, he was a world middleweight champion and has a record of 33, 3 with 24 KOs. He has just knocked out Liam Smith, a former victim of the Canelo. At the same time, the British promoter and the chairman of Matchroom Sports shared his opinions on this fight during one of his interviews. According to him, this fight will not happen. This is what he said. Eubank is going to want a fortune to fight Canelo. He knows what will happen. Now when it's happening, he doesn't think that such a fight would be in Eubank Jr.'s interest at this time. However, he believes that Eubank Jr. should focus on building momentum with easier opponents, warm-up fights, to the end of the year, 2024. This strategy would have given Eubank Jr. the opportunity to sharpen his skills and maybe even gain more exposure before being placed with a star like Canelo Alvarez. It's the wrong fight for him. Um, why is that? Um, obviously, Canelo, pound for pound, one of the best. It'd be a big week in Vegas. Surely he's going to go out there and go, why not? Oh, yeah, no, the bunny's got to be right. Oh, he'll get absolutely battered in that fight, and he knows that. But if the money's right, he'll take it. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying, my comments were, he's not, he's not an idiot. He knows he can't beat Canelo Alvarez. So if you're going to take a paste in, in a potential career-ending fight, you got to get paid for it. But commercially, Canelo against Eubank does half the numbers in America of Canelo against Belanga, right? But Eubank will want so much money for the Canelo fight, and rightfully so, because he's got other options. I just, I personally don't think that fight will happen. And, you know, all of our conversations with Chris and his team were, he wants those two gimme fights, 
this year because he's been very inactive and then he'll fight anybody after that. So, you know, if I'm Eubank, I'm probably taking those two fights with Boxer, then I'm fighting Conor Ben. And if I beat Conor Ben, then you look at the Canelo Alvarez fight next September. And by the way, he'll probably get the money he's asking for now and he'll be in a position where he's actually geared up, ready for that kind of fight. Conor Ben, obviously, we're at never-ending conversations about him, but is that realistic in the next... You can see that down the line, Conor being able to yeah. fight in the UK? Yeah, look, I mean, one thing's for sure. Like, in a worst-case scenario, Conor will be... You know, he can fight in February or March next year. Like, in the worst-case scenario. But at the same time, it's so frustrating that other fighters basically just plead guilty and do a deal for six months or a year. Connor's pleaded his innocence and now we're two years down the line yeah. without an outcome. So I believe an outcome is pending mm -hmm. and when it is, he'll be back in the ring. So, you know, as I said, Chris wants these two easy fights. I think it will actually gear up really well for the big one in, in probably the spring of 2025. Last one from me. Um, I read an article today on Sportsboom um, and you've made comments about... Once Eubank himself accepts the fact that the man they call Canelo is a force to be reckoned with in the ring. However, his father, Chris Eubank Sr., who is also a dignified personality in the boxing world, feels that the fight with Canelo is the pinnacle. He considers this match the stepping stone towards obtaining the kind of recognition and esteem that is unreservedly given in the boxing ring. Chris Eubank Sr. stated that fighting Canelo will not only be a proving ground for his son, but will also be a way of establishing his legacy. He said, it is difficult to challenge him. You cannot call Canelo Alvarez. When he wants to come to fight, he will fight. He'll study the options and do whatever he wants. He continued his statement by mentioning his wins and skills in securing the title. Canelo makes the rules, does what he wants, gains weight, loses weight. He has belts in different divisions and does everything other fighters could never do. Like many others, Callie Sauerland, a prominent and influential boxing promoter who has worked with many top fighters also gave his opinion on this potential fight. Absolutely, Eubank. If you look at it in terms of a fight, would be a great opponent for Canelo. But I also think it's a commercially very interesting fight for Canelo, because Canelo would unlock the UK market, obviously, with an opponent like Eubank. However, his father seemed to acknowledge Canelo's skills as a fighter. During one of the interviews, his father, when touching on his son's possible opponent in Canelo Alvarez, Chris Eubank Sr. transitioned from the technical aspects to the admiration of the fighting style of Canelo. Eubank Sr., thus is a boxing purist, which is why he adheres to the traditional way of handling a boxing match with a focus on such elements as technique among fighters. He also highlighted Canelo's punches and his movement in the ring just like the old days of boxing. However, Sinter Eubank stated that many of the contemporary fighters were devoid of such a fundamental because most of them had condensed training. This gets Canelo even more respect from Sinter Eubank. When coaching his son about the possibilities of a victory, Sinter Eubank does admit that Canelo has a grasp of art that is quickly disappearing, thus making him rather special. See, he's always believed he could beat Canelo. And I'm like, well, are you sure? I see how you can, you know, but you can't afford to make uh, reckless mistakes like carrying your elbow one inch away from your ribs. It's got to be closed because he will get in and rip you to shreds. So, you know, know what you're coming up against. You're talking about Canelo old school. He's not one of these new school fighters. You know, this guy's not doing jumping jacks and press-ups. This guy's doing what it says on the tin. He's been trained to fight. You know, they believe in sparring, sparring, sparring. They may, they may not even believe in running. They believe in sparring and that's what makes a great fighter, which is what he is and I respect. Yeah, Canelo, I respect him. But I can see how Junior can. And effectively, I'll tell you, it's work rate, volume. That's how I think he thinks he can do it. And I'll back him all the way. All I say is, you can't carry your hand, you can't carry your hand like this. You can't, you can't box like that. It's gotta be, it's gotta be stuck there. Otherwise, he'll take advantage of it. You know, I don't just like Canelo. I love him. Yeah, I can tell you it's a lot of respect that you have for him. Why? Because I'm a purist. I know about the art. And he has learned. So, you see, Canelo is among those fighters 
who are considered to be the best opponent for many. Where Eubank seemed enthusiastic about having a fight against Canelo, Crawford also seemed to be leaning towards the super middleweight star Canelo. Crawford believed that the best fight should be the best regardless of weight class. But recently, Jaron Ennis seemed interested in having a fight with him, and the IBF welterweight world champion himself said, most definitely, let's make it happen. That's what I want. I want the big names, Terence Crawford. Anybody in that weight that got a big name. Let's get it. Ennis's promoter, Eddie Hearn, also declared, the future for Boots Ennis is the future of boxing. I think he beats everyone, and that Ennis is a special fighter that needs to be tested against the best in the world. However, Crawford himself called out the Canelo for his next fight, and he called Ennis an overrated fighter. In one place, I'm in another. Yep. You know what I mean? I'm looking for mega fights right now, and right now, that's not a mega fight. So, you know what I mean? That's my standpoint on it. I'm looking to fight guys like Canelo, you know, uh, that's pretty much it, man. And the rematch with Spence. That's it. That's over with. Terrence Crawford has responded to Jaron Ennis calling him. But Canelo looked quite uninterested, and he protested saying that Crawford was a small man, and he would not look good as a big champion. He also spoke of the possibility of a loss affecting his reputation. Apparently, this has created some tension among boxing fans. Some people think that Crawford's skills allow him to beat the size hurdle, and would like to see the bout for the right to be called the true unbeaten champion. Furthermore, some of the fighters also appeared to understand Canelo's standpoint and the potential unfairness of a fight between two fighters of different weight categories. Among all this chaos, his fight has been finalized with Eubank. According to his track record, it's so evident that he will win this fight against this opponent, and many of the analysts considered this the biggest mistake for Eubank. And Canelo himself seemed so confident about his fighting ability, and this is what he said while showing his enthusiasm for the potential bout with Chris. Man, you know, let's, let's do this. You need to be tested. And you're not going to fight your Mexicans. I'm English and Jamaican, so you can fight me. You know, it's, it's chalk, it's, 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 very, it's very... Make sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one.